I am cold. I am emotionless. I am at peace, ready for war. Driven human beings are going to always feel like they're behind. They're going to always feel like they're not doing good enough. They're going to always feel like they're not far enough. They're all going to always feel like you're losing. Look, 90% of the time, you're going to feel like you're getting your balls kicked in. All right? 8% of the time, you're going to be confused and you're frustrated. 2% of the time, you actually win. And those moments come and go, and then you're back in the 90%. And that's the reality of a winner's life. People don't understand that. They think it's all about cruising around in a cool car, having a free and happy and easy and go lucky life. And that's not reality because true winners, they're built for the battle. They don't find peace and joy and happiness in the win. They find what they're looking for in the fight. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. Let me tell you something, homie. These women ain't going nowhere. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. It's time to stay focused. We're not on this stage just because of talent or ability. We're up here because of 4 a.m. We're up here because of two-a-days or five-a-days. We're up here because we had a dream and let nothing stand in our way. If anything tried to bring us down, we used it to make us strong. We were never satisfied, never finished, will never be retired. My high school English teacher, Mr. Fisk, he had this beautiful quote and, he, and it read, rest at the end, not in the middle. If all you guys are going left, it's that one person who say, you know what, left's not the right way, I'm gonna go right. Who didn't follow the crowd. That person who's not afraid of doing what they believe is right in their heart and not following someone else because someone else said, let's go this way, and they agree with everybody. I don't like yes men or yes women. If you're right, you're right. We're gonna follow you. But I like people who stand for something, they believe in something, and this is the way I'm gonna go whether you like me or not. You are one decision. One relationship, one thought, one emotion, one meeting away from a completely different life. And unless you believe, first off, I'm right about that, it's true. But unless you believe that, and then you program your reticular activating system in your brain to find those things, you will never have them happen to you. But if you begin to believe, I'm one meeting away from a different life. I'm one decision away. I'm one podcast away. I'm wearing one guy in the United States away from changing my life forever. The thing is, man, it's always going to be a party. It's always going to be a time to celebrate and a time to join friends and or a day to, I mean, the bars are always open, always open. No matter how old you are, they're always open, you know? What's not always open is the opportunity to, to check the box in life, you know, to achieve your dreams. That's not always open. A lot of people, man, how do you do what you do? At the end of the day, I ask myself one question. Can I take one more step? And usually the answer is yes. So if you can answer that question and not take another step, that is real failure. That is real quitting. So a lot of people can take one more step and they choose not to. I don't know if you can take two steps. You gotta answer that question after you take the first step. From that day forward, I made a promise that I will give it everything I got. I'm ready to die for what I had to, I had to succeed. I have to give it everything I got. That way I'm a winner no matter what. Hard work brings great rewards. This is a reminder of the hard work and dedication that I put into everything that I've done. I'm not content because I know where I came from and I don't ever want to go back. You might think that bed's warm, feels all comfortable. You come here, you kill it. Give it everything you have, leave it all here. The warmth you feel after that, second to none, man. Second to none. No sheet can provide that comfort for you. When you give it all here, guys, and you leave it all here, you are your weakest state, bottom of the barrel. What's about to happen? Your greatest triumph. You kill yourself on pride in here. Leave nothing to spare. What's gonna come? The growth of opportunity. This world is so noisy. We we all walk around with these phones, computers. The world is so fast. We're not able to think. The, the most powerful weapon in the world, we walk around with it. It's our mind. It's our brain. 
You have to be able to go into a very dark place in your mind and figure who you are. Go back to what you want to do. What's your purpose? We can't figure our purpose out or why we're here or why we're even born or whatever because it's so loud in our mind. We don't have any quiet time with ourselves to sit back and say, what do I really want? There's so many different dialogues in our head that we can't think. So my biggest thing is you have to be alone in a very dark place in your mind and think about what is important to you. It doesn't matter where you are in life. It really doesn't. Because the great thing about life is it's always your next move. Your next move that counts. No matter where you are, you can be. Look, I was dead broke. My electric bill was being shut off. And there were, obviously there were people even like worse off than I was. It doesn't matter. You could change your life if you want to. It's always your next decision. So it's up to you. Confucius had a great saying that uh, you know every man has two lives, and the second starts when he realizes he has just one. <laughs>